Why would you want older men to have a higher testosterone level if all that really does is just increase the competition? I had a video where I talked about testosterone and there was a guy who placed a comment that essentially had this message. He said, well, yes, yeah, sure, testosterone levels are dropping and yes, yeah, sure, that's making men weaker. But what if? What if we don't tell them about it? But we just increase our own testosterone levels so that we become better by living a healthy lifestyle. But then we will not tell the other guys so that they become weaker and weaker and we'll just eliminate the competition and we will stand out like these complete alpha high test chads ourselves. Rob, why? Why are you trying to get older men to get their testosterone levels up? Let me tell you exactly why. Now, yes, I do think this is a fair point. Yeah, if you don't tell the other guys and you just work on yourself, you stand out from the competition. But there is a very clear reason why I think I care about other men's testosterone levels and I think you should care about that as well. And it's quite simple. If the average testosterone levels are dropping and men on average are becoming weaker, that means that our society becomes weaker. And as our society becomes weaker, that has negative influences on our society. And us, as an individual living in that society, are probably also negatively affected by it. I mean, just try to think about it on like the family level. What happens if you get raised by a weak man? Hmm? If there are primarily weak men. Your father is a weak man. The teachers in school are weak men, right? You are not a weak man yourself, but you send your child to school and the only people that your child interacts with are these crazy feminist female teachers and the soy boy male teachers. And your child spends like what? Eight hours a day among these people and never encounters an actual masculine man like you, with the exception of you, the father, what's going to happen to your child? What's going to happen to you if all your friends are soy boys with no values, no ambitions in life? All they want to do, smoke some weed, fap to some porn, play some video games, they never stimulate you to work towards your goals. You never talk about your ambitions together. You never go to the gym together. How would that influence your life? If you couldn't find any masculine friends, what would happen to society as a whole if our whole Western society would just become weaker and weaker and weaker and then 50 years from now, 100 years from now, or maybe even sooner, another society comes along that isn't weak, but we'll find like a super China or maybe like a, an Islamic society where the men aren't weak and they decide to attack us. And we'd be sitting here, soy boys, weak, fat, with our soy lattice in our hand, watching our cuckold porn while the Islamic chads are just steamrolling our asses. <laughs> What's going to happen then? We're going to be in big, in big trouble, right? If men are becoming weaker, society becomes weaker, that will have negative effects on society as a whole and us as an individual. The balance between masculine and feminine energy will get disturbed. You have the, the stereotypical mother, right? Where the mother says to the child, child, everything is going to be all right. You are good just the way you are. The child says, thanks, mom, uh, hug, 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 comfort, right? Feminine energy. And then you have the stereotypical masculine energy, the stereotypical father that tells the child, well, child, no, not everything's just going to be all right. 
and you are not always just good the way you are, but sometimes you actually need to roll up your sleeves, get off your ass and actually start doing the hard work. And then the child turns to the father and the child's like, yes, I guess that makes sense. Let's roll up my sleeves and actually get some work done. Most, most children wouldn't literally say it that way, but that's like the stereotypical balance between feminine and masculine energy, right? The natural balance of things, which worked. It worked on the individual level. It worked on the family level. It worked on the societal level. We have, throughout history, we have largely had a healthy balance between feminine and masculine energy. Right now, Testosterone is dropping, therefore masculine energy is dropping. But what do you think is going to happen? Let's look at things on the family level first. Hmm? We have the mother telling the child, child, everything is fine. You are good just the way you are. Thanks, mom. Thanks. Child turns towards the father. But guess what? Father isn't a masculine man. Father is a soy boy and the father is just sitting there. Yes, I agree with mom. <laughs> you are good just the way you are. <laughs> Don't listen to toxic masculinity. Never improve. Huh? Never take care of your health. Never take care of your body. Just be who you are. What is going to happen to the child? Like, with what mindset is the child going to go through life? How is that going to affect the child? The child's mental health. The child's life in practice. How will that reflect on a society level? Well, guess what? We can literally see it happening right now. Body positivity, fat acceptance, all of this political correctness. It is literally an effect of the fact that we have an unbalance between masculine and feminine energy. We have too little masculine. We have too much feminine, right? The feminine energy is running rampant. We have radical feminists. We have radical liberals. I'm not going, trying to go too far into like a political debate of left versus right, but it's like the, the, the far left wing people that tend to contribute to this the most, the feminine energy. And then the men, right? There are so many men right now that also think from the feminine perspective. Instead of offering some balance, and, and saying, guys, well, actually, being fat is not that healthy for you. And you probably would become a little more attractive if you'd lost some weight. They say, no, yeah, the, the feminine energy is right. And when and this is the worst part. Whenever there is a masculine man, we've come so far in our society that whenever an actual mas masculine man or even a woman, but someone from a masculine energy perspective actually gives a reality check like that and states something objective like, hey, you would become healthier if you'd lost some weight, that person gets canceled because that person is offensive. That person is a bigot. This is already happening in our society. It is affecting us at a societal level and therefore also affecting us on an individual level. I have to be careful with what words I choose right now here in this video on YouTube because of the fact that the feminine energy is dominant. The feminine narrative is dominant. The feminine narrative is in control of what I am allowed to say here on YouTube. If I go too deep into biological facts, my video gets removed. It's affecting me on a personal level. It's affecting me on so many different levels. What I am allowed to say, what I am allowed to do in our society, how weak the men in my family are. I actually had a very weak grandfather. No offense to my grandfather. He was a very nice guy, but he was too nice. And it affected my family. It affected how my grandmother became. It affected how my mother was raised. It affected me, how I was raised indirectly because of how my grandfather was. It affects the friends you get to hang out with. It affects everything on so many levels. 
And so therefore, I care about older men's testosterone levels. And to be honest, now that I think of it, I, I actually just think I just care about other people. <laughs> Even if it would just straight up increase the competition for me. And I wouldn't actually be negatively affected by other men's low testosterone levels. I just care about other people and I just want to help other people. And I don't think I'm afraid of the competition. I just want to grow together with you guys. And if that increases the competition, then great. Absolutely great. The competition fuels a man. Do not be afraid of competition. Be afraid of men with low testosterone levels. Now, if you guys are interested, I am going to make more videos where I go into more depth about how to actually increase your testosterone levels. A lot of you guys probably don't know this, but I actually studied nutrition, like the real education where you are allowed to become an actual dietitian. You know, not one of these other titles that people use to, to claim to be an expert, but like the, the real deal, an actual dietitian. So I know a thing or two about nutrition. I might go into depth about nutrition. Uh, I might go into depth about, you know, the other things you can do for your testosterone levels. But right now, quick tips for you guys, okay? How can you get a higher testosterone level? It essentially boils down to living healthier. I know it's a boring answer, but yes, get your sleep. Make sure that you sleep enough. Stop eating bad foods. Stop eating junk foods. We'll get into depth in later videos, but just eat healthier overall. Eat more fruits, eat more vegetables, eat more animals. Don't believe in veganism. If you want to do that for ethical reasons, okay. But from a nutritional perspective, it's just so impractical. Don't do it. Eat fruits, vegetables, animals. Minimize processed crap, minimize junk food, go to the gym, exercise, and, and then this one actually doesn't really directly affect testosterone that much, but I'd actually say quit fapping to porn. There isn't any actual evidence that shows that if you quit fapping to porn that your testosterone level raises, but I firmly believe that if you fap to porn too much, it just affects your life in so many levels. It just kills your motivation to do all the other things. And when you quit porn, you just get more hype towards life, which will make it more likely that you go to the gym, uh, that you take care of yourself in general. And so indirectly, I think that one could really affect you. Stop jacking it to porn. Go to the gym, <laughs> start eating healthier, start sleeping well. And really, this is a boring answer, yeah, but it's the truth. This is going to make a big difference. And when you actually do get your testosterone levels up because of this newer healthy lifestyle, you start to feel more energy, you start to feel more ambition, you start to get a better body. I guarantee you, you will feel anything but boring. You will be incredibly happy that you listened to the so-called boring answer. You realized that the answer was anything but boring. The answer was glorious.